Hello and welcome to this video where I will show you six tips on how you can use ChatGPT as a programmer. So let's jump right into it. The first thing is that you can make it come with suggestions to tables and then also just let it create the SQL scripts. In this case, you should actually only tell ChatGPT what the headline of the table should be and then it will come with a lot of suggestions on what columns you can have in the table. Then you can add and just remove things from the table that is suggested and when you're happy with the table then just tell it to make an sql script that actually create the table in the database and it really doesn't matter if it's mssql or mysql that you're using it can make both scripts and don't worry if it creates errors because that is actually my tip number two and that is that chat gpt is actually pretty good to come with some solutions for errors there was once where i had an issue with some code where the code gave me an error so i actually just sent the code to chat gpt and then I asked what is wrong with this code and then I said that it couldn't find any error in the code it was only one line of code that I sent and I was thinking that maybe ChatGPT wasn't that smart as I expected but when I then sent the error message to it also then it did understand what the issue was and within seconds it came up with a solution that actually worked so when it has to come with some solutions for some errors that you get then both send the code that you have and the error message that you have the third tip that I have is that you can make it generate some code and it's actually just like the tip number one where it created some SQL scripts but you can also do it with for example C sharp or JavaScript or Java but instead of that you have to write a whole method that would calculate something or manipulate some data in some way then just describe to chat GPT what it is that you have as input and tell it what do you want as output when the method has run and also tell it of course that is a method that you want to have created it might not do everything correctly in the first try but if you just look the code through and see what the error is you could might fix it yourself or you could get chat gbt to fix it and just tell it what's wrong and how you want it my tip number four is that you can generate comments on your existing code so what you do is just to copy your code that you want to have to comment on send it to chat gbt tell it that you want comments on this code and it will actually comment the code of course you need to read the comments to see if they actually fit the code but in the most case it will actually hit spot on my tip number five is to actually ask the chat gbt about things in programming if you just want to get started with some new topics like how do you create an api from scratch and what are the best practices to do that it could also be how to create an AI by yourself. Then it might give you a list of a couple of things that you can do, but you should really not just stop there to use ChatGPT because you can just copy a object in the list and then say that it should specify that so that you actually get a more detailed description about what it is suggesting that you are going to do. But now for my tip number six on the list, which is that you can also ask ChatGPT to get ideas for new projects and actually describe them very very detailed so like I actually asked ChatGPT to come up with an idea to a project that I want to make some videos about and then it came up with that I could make an event application and then what ChatGPT usually do is that it comes up with a list with a lot of features and then again if you have some question to the features you actually just ask it how should it work and then it will describe it even more detail even though that this video have a title that indicate I have six ways I want to show you I actually have seven but it's just like a bonus and the seventh way is that if you have a text and you want to convert it to HTML so you know like putting p tags around paragraphs and actually put some classes and IDs inside the p tag also and put some ul tags around unordered lists or ol tags around ordered list and put them in the li tag then you can also tell chat gbt to actually just embed it in html but if you have some nice features that a programmer could use chat gbt to then please leave a comment it could be a tip that would make any person's life easier but else please leave a like and subscribe to the channel and then i will see you in the next video